Welcome back to the Lunchbox. Where we taste, try, and review food. I'm Adam, ex-restaurant personal chef. And I'm Brittany, and I have no experience with food. Today's episode is a little bit different. We're actually doing a subscriber request. So if there's anything you would like to see us try, leave a comment, and we just might do it. In today's episode, we are... Ranking Tuna Helper. That's right. So, tuna is... How much experience do you have with tuna? None. Like, <laughs> very little. I love tuna. As a matter of fact, I used to fish for it in my first job. Yeah, we used to catch albacore, bluefin, big eye, and we'd see the occasional yellowfin. I never really ate tuna, and I just tried it for the first time, like, last week. Yeah. And he made it, so... <laughs> I made tuna melts, she gave it a shot. How'd that go? It wasn't bad. I'm just not used to it, so... <laughs> this is your first tuna meal. Yeah. You could say. Yeah. You looking forward to it? Kind of. It's kind of scary at the same time. <laughs> Tuna's good. We're actually using good tuna. We're using albacore. So we're using the white meat stuff. A lot of the tuna that you get uh, normally is chunk light, as they call it, which is usually a skipjack tuna, which isn't exactly the same. It's got a more fishy sort of uh, darker meat to it. So I'm hoping the albacore might be more tasty for you. Hope so. <laughs> all right, so let's taste them all and see where they stack up against each other. We even threw in a store brand one just to see how that goes. So let's try them. So ready for tuna helper number one? We have tuna creamy pasta. That's the original, the basic one. Try it. Oh, here we go. Mm, okay, I'm gonna say right away, I'm gonna bias because I already, I love this kind of stuff. Mmm. It's just like a noodle. It's, it's, yeah. It's got noodles, it's really creamy. It lives up to its name. What are you tasting? Kind of like, I don't know, kind of like salmon. Yeah, you you eat salmon. You eat canned salmon. Yeah. Yeah, so you're familiar with that. But it's like noodle. It's not bad. No. Yeah. It's a little bit tangy for me. A little bit bright. As far as like the taste buds go, it's really bright to me. Very flavorful. Like almost too flavorful. Like kind of how I feel about Velveeta versus like Great Value or Annie's. It's called that kind of, I want to say like an MSG sort of exciting your taste bud sort of thing, but it's good. I mean, it's creamy. I feel like I can get a headache after eating something like this. <laughs> I mean, it might be some, let's see. Yeah, there's some in there, MSG. But I mean, you're eating it. Yeah, it's not bad. Not bad, cool. Let me ask you, in the world of tuna helpers to be, and I know it's early. No, I don't even know. Uh, where are you gonna rank them? We got six different varieties to choose from. I know this is the one we're leading off with, so this is a bit tricky. <laughs> this is really hard to do because I don't even know what I'm comparing with. I know. So It's basic though, it's normal. Let's just go with three. Yeah, I'm, to, I'm, I'm doing the same thing. Yeah, just because I don't- reach over here. I don't even know. No. Yeah. We'll start with that. We can move them around. Yep. So, we're, nice base of three. It's three. Yep. Okay. Next. Tuna helper number two is... Tuna fettuccine alfredo. Ooh, I like fettuccine alfredo, but will tuna alfredo cheesy helper be as good? What do you think? Have you ever had He's fettuccine a... alfredo? Mm, I don't know. I don't even know. I made that for you, haven't I? Maybe. Oh man, big, big old fettuccine noodles. I just taste more cheese. It's more mild than the first one, which I like. It doesn't have that yeah. big MSG flavor that I'm getting. The MSG, MSG is strange stuff. It um. Uh, it's flavor without seasoning. It actually uh, 
tricks your taste buds into firing extra to give you the sensation that something tastes better than it is, or, or enhanced, rather. As far as it tasting like fettuccine Alfredo, meh, not so much for me. But it's, I won't know. It, yeah. <laughs> For me, I'm, I'm definitely liking it better. I think so. Than that one. But I it's, think it's so. A bit more mild, a bit more basic though. Kind of plain. But I feel less guilty about eating this one. So with without knowing what's to come, do you think you got a, a, a rank for this one? I think I'll put it at two. You too, huh? Look, we're in sync today. I guess so. I'm doing the same. Oink. It's okay. I'm gonna... I think it's better. Yeah. It's got more, I think it tastes more cheesy. So. Yeah. It's definitely not like your olive garden Alfredo or anything, but it's okay. Helper number three is... Tuna creamy broccoli. Ooh, it's got vegetables in it. Ooh. <laughs> you see broccoli in here? Because I barely do. They're little teeny Aww. green specks. Oh, you see that? <laughs> 3D, right? A little little specks. So it's called creamy broccoli. I can smell broccoli at least. I'm starting to get a, the odor of it. Now is that what broccoli tastes like to you? I don't taste anything. <laughs> In general? <laughs> yeah. At all? Not really. Hang on. I taste noodle. Yeah, it's it's kind of plain, but it does have an aroma. I do taste that that green of broccoli. I don't. Basic, kind of plain, kind of underwhelming. I would definitely. I mean, yeah. all these are helpers. I mean, I think there's recipes where they suggest you know adding more stuff in here. For me, I definitely be putting a lot of broccoli in here. Maybe some uh, shredded cheddar. What do you think? I don't taste broccoli. No, not really broccoli. I mean, it's it's, it's minuscule. It's a little bit, a little tiny green. I it's literally just like noodle for me. But There's not even the, that much cheese. Mm -hmm. Forgetting the fact that it's broccoli. I mean, the flavor, or the taste compared to the other two. I don't think it's as good as the other two. I have to agree with you on that one. I don't know how far down to put to rank it, but no idea. Basic. I think. I'm, I'm going, uh, mm. it's, not, it's not like it's bad. I wasn't even looking oh. at your flag. I wasn't looking at what your flag. What is this? I wasn't even looking. You're a copycat today. I'm not looking. You're a copycat. I swear. <laughs> I'm just doing my own thing. Let's try the next one. All right, tuna helper number four. Is gonna be tetrazzini. Tetrazzini. That's a new word for you. It is. <laughs> yeah, tetrazzini is actually a, a dish. They usually use a turkey, I think. T turkey tetrazzini is a thing. It says rotisserie chicken on the back. It says you can try it with rotisserie chicken instead of tuna, which says to me this is probably one of their favorites and uh, might be good. So let's try it. These ones actually use, well, I'd say long noodles, but uh, they have uh, kind of like spaghetti noodles. No, no, what's that? There's a speck of like bell pepper in here. The noodles are a lot softer, I think, but that's probably because they're smaller. Yeah, they're using like a spaghetti noodle. What do you think? Don't cheat this time. I'm not <laughs> cheating. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm looking at my own. It's okay. It's okay. Can you picture this with like shredded up rotisserie chicken? Yeah. Okay. We did these following the instructions on the box. You know, on the back they show you how you can spice it up and was throwing some peas in there. Very exotic. Uh, what's that? Like shredded Parmesan or something like that. But uh, as its own, it's it's fine. I can see where they're saying, hey, give this a shot. Not not a lot of people know what tetrazzini is. It's it's, it's a classic dish. But, I think, oh, there's a little bit of spice. I got some spice in that bite. Probably that bell pepper. I can see where this could be a base 
for something a little bit fancier, I think. Mm -hmm. It's not bad. Um, we don't have a number one yet. I don't know if this is going to be number one. This but isn't one for me, I don't think. One of them has to be one. In comparison for each other. You There's know? the original. Two was cheese. Mine are going to move around. You're going to move around, but I think, I think this is probably our best hope. I think this is our best hope. So I'm, I'm, I'm probably saying this is going to be the best one. Well then, we Hold shall on. see. Well, yeah. Breaking it, comparing to to itself. I think this one definitely has more potential to be something kind of better. With the chicken and the, and the cheeses and some peas added and stuff like that. I think it's got more, more potential, so. Okay. We finally differ. Yay. There you go. All right, we're ready for number five, which is gonna be... Tuna cheesy pasta. Tuna cheesy pasta. Simple. It What's looks it? different from the others. It's colorful. It is very orange. Very orange. Hold on, what is this? What is this? Is this your number one? What is this? Talk to me. What are we tasting? It's like the number, the, the original one that we had at the beginning. Well, it kinda is. It kinda is. But more... I don't wanna say nacho cheese, it's not that strong, but... This one's naughty. It, 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 it tastes naughty. It tastes like... I don't know. Man. It tastes like the junk food one. <laughs> it's still not as... Maybe I'm getting used to it. It doesn't taste as bright. No, I thought it'd be a lot more cheesy than this. Just because it's more orange. Yeah. They, again, they say you can uh, bump it up. They're showing some garlic cloves back there. Imagine busting out garlic cloves for your helper. There's what else did it say? Rotisserie chicken again. Two cups. Two cups of rotisserie chicken cut into bite-sized pieces. Add minced garlic when simmering. Top with crumbled cooked bacon, fresh or dried parsley. Bacon would be good. I can see that. Yeah, that smoky kind of, I could see that being like a, like one of those loaded baked potato things. Okay, you have a one and a six. Granted, you can move those around. I probably am. This isn't the worst one. No, it's not the worst. What's the worst one? I hope it's not gonna be the generic one. Because we have one more left in this store brand. I like store brand stuff usually. Bye. Tetrazine is definitely the best one for me. Let's see, bring bring those out here. Okay. What do we got? Here we go. Right now, your number one is yeah, Tetrazine. That's, that's, and that's, that's a my thing. Four. I stand by that one. Right now, your number. Where are we at? I don't know. Let's do them in order as I have them. The broccoli one is your five, which I guess makes it my six right now. How'd that not get numbered? It was a five. Oh, okay. It moved. Oh, that's right. Switch one. Switch one. We both have two for yeah. whatever fettuccine alfredo. Mm-hmm. And we both have three for um, the original. Jeez. <sighs> this one's confusing. <laughs> this should be a four to me. Yeah, I got four, so this is my four, I believe. That's the right box, right? Okay. All right, that's that. All right, take them away. All right, time for the last one. Tuna helper number six is actually gonna be Great value, cheesy tuna. All right, we threw a store brand in there just to see. Plus, why not? All right, let's give it a shot and see how the great value version snacks up. Now here's a problem. I have a six to dish out. And I remember in the mac and cheese video, I dished out the, 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 the the generic one took the fall against mm -hmm. 
Or was that the, the cola? Did they both take the full? They always do. Mm. Yeah, it was the yeah, it was the macaroni and cheese that we put last. Look at this. Wanna no. see a trick? Nice. Double sided box. I'm crazy. Just in case. Just in case. So tell tell me before I say anything. Is that your number one? You got a number one to dish out. I think you're gonna be. I know. What are you tasting? Um. It really just tastes like the others. Not super cheesy. So we had the, the other cheesy, we had the name brand cheesy one right before this on purpose so we can kind of compare them. Wh which one would you rather have or would you not be able to tell? I don't know if I'd be able to tell. You've got a one to dish out and I got a six to dish out. Yeah. I think I'm gonna be rearranging numbers. A lot. Bring out the boys. Because <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. This is... I'm gonna just, can I just take off all my flag and redo it? <laughs> I think I might. This is pretty, uh... I am, I've eaten too much of it trying to figure it out. I didn't think it's a train. <laughs> all right. Okay. Was this, is this a good one or a bad one? I think it's okay. I like the noodles more because they're like more noodles. You know what? I will have to say that now that you bring it up, the noodles seem to have uh, held its form and its texture a little bit more than the yeah, other ones. They're sturdy noodles. Mm hmm. So it does have a bite. I don't, you know, no, that's a good point to make. Is it my number one or anything like that? Mm hmm. For me, I'm, I'm for sure on my number one. I'm gonna make this my number two. I'm thinking I'm gonna put this as two. Really? Yeah. Okay. No, oh, here we go. We're having Hi. malfunctions. What's your worst one? Uh, I said the broccoli. I don't want. You know what? I think I'm just gonna roll with this and say this is good enough. Alfredo was your number one. Probably. God, that one was the most cheesy one. I thought that I that I. Uh, no. I like the cheese. Yeah, Alfredo traditionally is garlic. Butter, cream, maybe some milk. Some restaurants like to cheat and do a bechamel sauce and cut it and just add a bunch of milk. I've always liked the real stuff myself. But um, I don't think this is, what was my number six? Uh, what was this? We got that's, your, we got, that's your two, or we flag fl are falling We apart. got flag problems. What's our six? I don't know, where is oh, your, I don't have you a don't six. have a six yet. Uh, it's not that one, is it? It's not the broccoli. Well, the broccoli one wasn't great, but it's just... It just... It needs broccoli proper. It, it has needs a, something. Uh, it wants you to add all the extra stuff. Yeah. But if I was... I'm, I'm thinking if I'm gonna go buy some or eat some of these. Tetrazzini's number one for me. There's nothing wrong with the great value one. No, there's not. It's, it's basic. It's it's fine. I thought it was a better one. What's that bright one? What was the first one? I mean, number three, right? Yeah. Mmm, I don't know. I guess. It's it's one of these ones, I think. Cheesy pasta. No, I'm sorry. Oh. I think. I don't know. Oh, man. I don't know. I... I... So... You ate tuna, and yeah. lived, and lived, and lived, <laughs> and lived. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about tuna now? It's okay. I'm still getting used to it, but it is a lot like salmon, and it, I think I can deal with it. Like, yeah, that's really good stuff. Albacore's albacore's good. It's better. And I, I like the bubble beef stuff too. That's, I think that's one of our more favorite ones at home. So tuna helper as a whole, it's fine. I mean, it's not bad. You ever make it by yourself? You ever get a hankering for it? Never know. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> you never know. So that's our tuna helper episode. Thanks for suggesting it. And as always, if you want us to try something, feel free to subscribe and comment down below and we'll try to get to it. Thanks for watching. Yep, thanks.